Hey, I'm back. Um, I started base coating the two smaller pieces already. Turned out pretty good. I am using the um, model color. Um, Russian uniform. World War One or Two. World War Two. And I'm going to uh, start the bigger piece right now. Um, I just use a medicine cup always. Um, start with a little bit of a uh, water mixture. And this is 80% uh, um, distilled water, 15%, 91% alcohol, does that make sense? So it's mostly water, a little bit of alcohol mixed together. Doesn't dry the paint out too fast, but thins it really nicely. Doesn't change the property of the paint too much. I'm gonna, I mean, this is a bigger structure, so I need a lot of paint for this. I'm just doing the outside of it right now. I'm not doing any shading yet. There's a little appreciating, obviously, with the primer I did. And let's see how this works out. Then, let's see if we can see how that works. If we can see that or not. Uh, let's see here. There we go. So it's getting kind of watery. It leaves a little bit of a film. Um, they will go with that first, see how that works. Stir it up nice. Always use a stirring brush, clean it off. Let's get the brush going. I got a little bit of this mixture in here already. I'll add a little more to it. And this is a uh, Badger Patriot 105. Really good standard uh, airbrush to use. You can almost put anything through it. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, that's a nice little light color. And I like how that little pre-shading kind of stays underneath. And I'm trying to keep uh, the angle up, so some of that little darkness and the grays will uh, put some natural shading in there. We're going to go later on with those two other model colors I showed earlier in the video. And that'll be just, a, I'm going to use a detail brush on that. I'll either use my um, Chrome or my uh, Renegade Velocity on that. And I'll most likely use the Velocity. I have that out already. Real simple brush to use and very accurate. I think it's got a .21 needle in it. I think it's got a .4. So this can throw out a lot of paint if you need it. And these details like this are probably going to go over that door with a bronze or a copper. Make it a little more uh, official looking, then weather the hell out of this thing when I'm done. Well, I'm going to get to uh, finishing these base coats, and then I'll be back. Thanks. Hey, I'm back. Hey, we got the base coating done, and I did the back area too. Threw in a coat of um, uh, Vallejo Model Air US Sand. It's a good neutral color. And we take weathering really nice and um, some other details we're going to put in there. And there it is. It's a, I think that turned out pretty nice. You can imagine that being like a nice like colored stone or cement or stucco concrete. And I'm probably going to go in and detail all the metal, uh, like a dark um, gun metal. Probably use the, I have a model air. I love that color. It's like a mixture of uh, almost a black and a gun, um, uh, the Vallejo color, the um the gunmetal from Vallejo, I can't remember the name of it now, but it's like a darker gunmetal color. Then you can highlight it up uh, really easily. Uh, right now, I'm probably going to go in with the uh, cold uh, grays for the concrete and start with the rubble. There's going to be a little mixture of the uh, original color from the building in there, too, because that would be more plausible. And then I'm not sure what I'm doing the floor yet. I might go in there and dry brush it and check how that works. Let me go do that first and let's see how that turns out. And I'll be back. Hey, I'm back. Um, I decided to go with the desert sand on the floor. I wanted a kind of a nice grout. So I took the desert sand on the cr uh, floor, took a dry brush and some uh, game color terracotta. Actually, it turned out pretty nice. I'm going to probably do that on the other side right now. And this uh, kind of, you guys are kind of in the, within the creative process with me. I think that'll turn, turn nice. It looks like a little dust on the edges from where I, I didn't hit the dry brush with too much. And then this is going to be like a lighter concrete where the black is. So it'll look, uh, it'll look good. And we'll be back after we get a little more done. Thanks. Hey, I'm back once again. Um, as you can see, we got the floor basically done. We'll do some weathering later on, but then we got the terracotta look. 
Uh, barrel hasn't been done yet. All the base coating in the interior, uh, the dry brushing on the roof is done, and the exterior is done. I tried to do some metal on these uh, posts over here. Did not look good, so I repainted them over, leaving the metal on the um, lamp fixtures, and those will be washed and probably highlighted again. Right now, I'm going to start laying down some uh, ground color, and I believe I'll be using um, some uh, model air mahogany as the base, then uh, going in and feathering some mud brown just to lighten it up. Then later on, I'll probably be putting a lot of um, uh, green flocking in because this is like a lawn back here behind this building. And um, we'll come back and show you that. Thanks. You can see now we got the mahogany laid down and all the uh, areas where it would be like dirt or soil and eventually be you know, covered with grass when we're in certain spots. I'm going to go in now and feather in some uh, the lighter uh, model air uh, mud brown and just to give it a little pop and uh, highlight some edges of it where the sun will be hitting and we'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, here's one of the pieces. Um, you see I did some uh, basic, uh, blocked out the uh, brick highlight a little bit. Then went in with a um, Freak Flex black tint to um, accentuate the depths of the, uh, you know, the separation of the brick. And also use that as a, uh, a fix for overspray. You can see nice, it adds a nice shade and doesn't, uh, it's not opaque. It still needs a little more touch up. But you can see how the mud brown effects. Um, uh, some of the overspray kind of makes it look nice on the uh, broken tile. It looks like, you know, debris dust. And uh, also I used a little bit of um, some of the gray overspray. Use some Createx uh, clear brown, uh, dark brown. And that kind of, it's a nice little, like almost an eraser. And it's still, it's not too harsh of a cover-up, cover but um, it makes a nice fix. And it uh, hides your mistakes really nicely. Uh, that is it for right now. I am um, going to take a break for a while, get back and start doing the detailing. Thanks for watching.